In this video, we are going to review how to use the C1V1 equals C2V2 equation. So let's say you are doing an experiment where you want to test uh, different percentages of ethanol on the heart rate of Daphnia. And you have an ethanol stock that's 10% ethanol. And from previous experience, you know that this particular uh, stock is too high of an ethanol percentage to be able to use with your Daphnia. So you want to create a new solution that has a decreased concentration of ethanol. And let's say you wanted to make a new ethanol solution that was only 2% ethanol. And for the experiment, you know, you know that you need 20 milliliters of this 2% ethanol solution. You can take your 10% ethanol stock and use some of that to make your 2% ethanol solution. How do you go about doing this? Well, here's where your equation C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2 comes in really handy. What this essentially is saying is if you were to multiply your stock concentration times the volume of your stock, it's going to equal the concentration of the solution you want to make. Multiplied by how much of that new solution you want to make. So let's see how we can apply this equation then to the problem at hand. So what pieces of the puzzle do we already know? Well, we know that we want to make 20 milliliters of our new solution, right? So that is going to end up being our V2, right? The volume of our new solution. We also know the concentration of the new solution that we want to make. That's going to be the 2% here. So this is our C2. The last piece of the puzzle that we do know is the concentration of our stock right here, 10%, and that's our C1. So the only thing we don't yet know is this one. How much of our stock do we need to be able to make 20 milliliters of our 2% ethanol solution? So let's go ahead and plug in the values we already know. So we know our C1. C1 is 10%. We're going to multiply that by V1, which we don't know yet, but we're going to solve for. And the product of that has to equal C2, which is the concentration of our new solution, 2%, multiplied by V2, which is the volume that we want to make of our new solution. Again, we're going to solve for V1 here. So we're going to bring the 10% over to the right-hand side. To make life for yourself easy, get rid of the percent signs. They're both in the numerator and denominator, so they can cancel. And then simply do your math. 2 times 20 will give you 40 milliliters in the numerator, divided by 10 for a final volume of 4 milliliters to equal our V1, or the volume of stock that's needed to make our final solution. So again, recall, we want to make a total of 20 milliliters of our 2%. Four milliliters will be the 10% stock, which means that the remaining 16 milliliters will be water. Right? We're going to dilute that high 10% stock to make a 2% new ethanol solution. By mixing four milliliters of the 10% stock, plus 16 milliliters of water. 